It was March 1811 in Nottingham, England, when the first textile machinery was destroyed. Skilled handloom weavers and textile workers burned the factory's instruments of labour and protested in the streets. They had honed their skills for decades, only to be mechanically replaced. These were the original Luddites, a term that is used derogatorily now, but described the fear for reaction to a phenomenon that continues to this day. Automation has always been seen as a threat to the worker, and with the exponential rise of technology in the workplace, the threat seems larger than ever. And it's true, there will be work that is previously completed by humans, completed 15 times faster through an automated process. A study from Oxford University predicted that 35% of jobs could be automated by 2035. But this doesn't necessarily mean someone's role will be lost. It will simply change. The mechanical loom of the 21st century is Robotic Process Automation, or RPA. RPA is a form of automation at an individual process level rather than enterprise-wide. It is rules-based and involves the completion of a series of robotic tasks. The automated processes are generally lower skilled, such as invoice approval, scheduling or data entry. Another feature is simple user interface designs so that a person can utilise techniques like drag and drop to create or modify processes. This removes reliance on specific IT skills once the RPA has been set up. So what happens to the schedulers and data entry roles? The software that enables RPA is highly intuitive using a drag-and-drop approach to process construction rather than requiring any coding ability. So someone's role may move towards management of one or more of these processes rather than its completion. An auditor's role is full of checking and double-checking information. If a robotic application were able to read through a series of scanned and digital documents, input the data and verify or log errors based on coded rules, the auditor would be able to instead focus on determining the cause of those errors resulting in a more accurate audit. Of course, this kind of work requires much more professional judgment than the recently graduated accountant would have, and so we run into some of the challenges of automation. Perhaps the way accountants are educated has to change, with a greater focus on practical experience rather than theory. There are certainly some losers in this change. Outsourcing has been a popular cost-saving practice for many companies, but its efficiency has hit a ceiling. Many companies are utilising inexpensive RPA to in-house previously outsourced work, leaving external suppliers, especially those in developing economies, in a tight spot. The accounting profession won't be the only discipline to feel the effects of RPA. Anywhere there are manual data entry tasks, there are opportunities for RPA. Business units like human resources or legal services are also ripe for disruption by RPA. To recap, automation is unavoidable. Lower skilled labour is rapidly being replaced by cheap, fast and powerful robotic process automation. RPA is easy to implement and can be applied in a modular fashion, process by process. It is likely to change the nature of many roles, resulting in more engaging, less rules-based work. For accountants, this means less data entry or validating and much more professional judgement.